Hey guys, before watching the video, I would request you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hitting the bell icon so that you can get an update whenever I upload my next video. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is a quick review of the new MIUI 10.2.2.0 update released by Xiaomi. So they have added the 960 FPS slow motion recording and night mode has also been added to the Xiaomi stock camera. Along with that, we also get the December Android security level patch. Adaptive battery has been added to it. The notifications still shows up only for a few seconds and disappear. You can get the OTA via your MIUI updater from your system update. But if it does not show up there, you can also manually download the MIUI 10 global ROM from the link given in the description. All you have to do is just download it directly to your mobile device and then go to your settings and then tap on about phone and then tap on system update now just tap on these three dots in the upper right corner here and then tap on choose update package and then tap on download folder which is the folder in which your downloaded files go and now you should see the update package right here once the rom is downloaded just tap on it and open it your MIUI updater will decrypt the files and start the installing process. Now let's see now, the stock camera that has been recently updated. So when you go to slow motion video, here you will be seeing this option of 960 FPS. You can toggle from 120 FPS, 240 FPS and 960 FPS. Just ignore the flickering, it is actually my LED tube light. So the thing here is that you can record using this 960 FPS option but it will only record the video for 10 seconds yes you heard it right but it works very nicely as you can see this is just a sample and this is now running at the super slow motion speed as you can see it only ran for 10 seconds so do bear in mind that this slow motion recording is limited to 10 seconds for now so if you want to record videos for a longer period of time, just switch to 240 FPS slow motion mode. And the other option added is the night mode. So you just need to select this if you want to take any low light shot. But the good thing is that now Gcam is working properly with the Pocophone. With the previous version of stable MIUI 10, the latest version of Gcam app was lagging and freezing a lot. But now it works perfectly. I'll be giving the links in the description so that you can download it directly from the XDA app. I'll be just showing you that. So this is the page here. Just uh, open the full post and just scroll down. And all you need to download is this one. Version 6.1.021. It's written December 30, 2018. Just tap on this link and you'll tap on this link it will open this so just click on here and it will start to download that so just install that and Gcam will be installed and these are the features that are working but there are many other things that are still not available with this update 60 FPS recording both at Full HD and 4K is still not supported and even the wideband L1 support is not given with this update, it's still stuck at L3 DRM. So Shama also said that they have released an update to improve over the touch issue. But my phone never had such issue. For example, I'll just show you by tapping on these edges. As you can see, I am perfectly able to quickly type QPQP from the edges. So I hope this issue is fixed for users who face this issue. So the other thing that I'll show you is the comparison between low light shot taken with the night sight camera and Gcam. So this is the pic that I took using the night sight mode in the stock camera. And now this is the same pic taken under the same low light conditions using the Gcam app on Pocophone. And the result is just amazing even in low light the picture taken using the gcam is perfectly lit i don't know how the gcam app did this and i'll be also showing you another example so this pic was also taken using the stock camera with night mode enabled and now this pic was taken using the gcam app with night sight enabled and again the difference was 
very big so the night sight mode in gcam app is working very nicely and the results are absolutely amazing so this is the gcam app and as you can see it's not lagging or freezing at all and everything is working perfectly just take a picture to show you so now you can install the gcam app and use it on the poco phone and other thing to note is that there has been a slight performance increase as well i'll show you my Android 2 benchmark results so i ran a series of benchmark tests and found that my phone was consistently scoring around 298,000 mark so this is a slight increase from the 294,000 score that my phone was scoring with the previous build of miui 10 so that is also a good thing and i have used the phone for about a day now and i think the battery level has slightly improved as well i have enabled that adaptive battery mode so that is a good thing as well so xiaomi has delivered their promise of the slow motion and night sight update but there are still many things that are missing for example 60 fps shooting for full hd and 4k mode is still missing but they have said that they'll release that update by the next month wideband l1 support is still missing and notification only remains for a few seconds in the notification bar before disappearing but the best thing is that now you can install the gcam app and the night side in the cheap cam app works amazingly well so a big boost has been given to pocophone's camera so guys i've also shown some gameplay of pubg on this phone using the touch screen controls because a lot of people have said that this phone had some multiple touch issues but my phone never had this issue and i've shown that so if you want to see that video just click on the card link shown above in this video i've also done some other tests like the screen reading test so if you want to see that you can also check that out in that video so guys i'll end the video here i hope you found it helpful if you enjoyed watching it please hit the like button if you did not you can hit the dislike button please consider subscribing to the channel if you're looking forward to such similar content in the near future thanks for watching and have a nice day